It's so Americana to play an acoustic guitar. It's reminiscent of, you know, the pure just roots of our country. The simplicity. Mm -hmm. Had a pair of boots yep. and an acoustic guitar. That's right. And these uh, really kind of bring you back there in a way. Help me out over there. All right, I'll do one. All right, here we go. Whoa! Shoo! Shoo! This is to, new? This is a new one? It smells like an old one. Oh, man. Look at that. Wow. Could have fooled the hell out of me. That's pretty. Beauty. It's got George Harrison written all over it. There's so many like character traits on this that you would really see on a well loved instrument. That's right. And it's got all that well loved feeling in it because of the cats that made it put a lot of love into it. It's like baking Look at that cookies. Flame, man. Yeah. And the, and the checking is perfect. And the yellowing on the on the binding. Yep. That's what gets me going. Yep. Somebody smoked a lot yep. with this guitar. Yeah. Sure this is new? <laughs> that might be just messing with us. Yo Murphy, man. He's done it again. This guy. Oh Lord. Meant to be. Oh. It looks Look like at the, this check in this like. Looks like the little Martha guitar. It's so unique, man. Yeah. Man, I can't get over the just the weight of them. They just, I mean, they they feel old. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. What would that be like a? Sixties. Yeah. What was that song you're playing? I mean, this guitar reminds me of George Harrison, I think. Yeah, I can see I mean, that. Greg played an old J200, too. Yeah, he did. I like to walk in and see a guitar that's been uh, well-loved. A guitar that's been, uh, I don't know, somebody's baby and number one go-to. That's right. Well, that's the thing. Like, when you're in a vintage store or whatever, they got tons of guitars on the wall. I think the thing that I get drawn to is, like, the old ones that are beat up. Yeah. So they got a story, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, these guitars could tell a story. My grandfather played a Gibson, and I play that one now. And uh, my dad played an SG and a Les Paul Deluxe. And yeah, we were a Gibson family. And your dad uh, still has that SG? Still has that SG. And uh, I've got my grandfather's 345. and. But, you know, my grandfather stressed the importance of having a good flat top. He really loved a good old Gibson flat top. So those are the people I watched growing up playing Gibsons. And uh, I think he'd be impressed with these. I think he would, too. Yeah. Oh, this just, this screams uh, Robert Johnson to me. Yeah, man. When I pick up my, my grandfather's acoustic, you know, I always uh, gravitate towards like a that was his favorite song, so I always kind of gravitate towards that, just big ringing chords, barnyard chords we like to call them. Um, but you know, man, the thing about a Gibson is it's really versatile too. And that could be said for, you know, small body or big body acoustics. I mean, like when I pick this up, it's more like finger picking Robert Johnson, but like when Marcus picks that up, it's big G chords, so. yeah. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
For me, my parents were music lovers, so my dad took me to see the Almond Brothers band when I was 14, 15 years old. And, you know, Greg played at J200, and, you know, there's Gibson guitars on stage. And I was like, oh, I get Authenticity is the, is the key. And I think people are starting to really resonate with that again. On our bus, we listened to uh, SZA or the Home Brothers Band or Miles Davis or uh, Brecker Brothers or, you know, we'll listen to Wu Tang Clan. Really, whatever is authentic and somebody wrote it from the right frame of mind and they wrote it because they had it in them and they had to get it out. That's what we do. Granted, it's a little more reminiscent to the Almond Brothers than it is, you know, Wu-Tang Clan, but I grew up on both of those things, and they inspired me just as much to be myself and to be as truthful and as honest with my playing and my singing as possible. I can speak for the both of us saying that we're fans first so it's uh, paying tribute and also you can't really fake that stuff so it's uh, being real and it's, it's playing loud amps and it's making you feel something and that's what yeah. those bands did and uh, just grateful to try to bring that back you know yeah loud amps help a lot yeah. <laughs> Got my blessing. <laughs> Amen. <laughs>